What is up everyone, Mr. Raviator here bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 Rags to Riches here on Aviator Games. And you guys, last time we left off, we were getting our house in order after just getting married to Candy. And now that the house is looking really nice, it's time to move on to the next chapter of our life. But before we do that, guys, do not forget to smash that like button if you guys have been enjoying this series and you want more Sims 4. Because if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll have another Sims 4 video for you guys tomorrow. Now today... We are going to be planning a family here on Rags to Riches. Yes, that is right. From Rags to Riches to now Family Man. <laughs> Literally from living out in this yard with nothing but like a painting easel and a trash can to now having this amazing house, a wife, and hopefully soon a child. It's crazy how fast everything's moving, guys. It's insane. But now, today, we are going to try to plan a family. And now I know that Casey... Definitely wants to have kids, definitely wants to give them better than he was given when he was younger. But I have a grand plan. <coughs> I have a really grand plan for this, guys, okay? So what do you think about this? Tell me in the comments if you like this or not. So, basically, Casey is going to have maybe two kids, and I want Casey to do the same thing his parents did to him, to his kids, when City Living comes out. So when City Living comes out and they're just turned young adults, I want to kick them out of the house, but in a friendly manner, in a loving manner, like... We're gonna we're gonna help you if you need help, but we want you to spread your wings and fly. Like you know, like a mother bird that kicks its baby out of the nest to see if it can fly. That's what Casey wants to do to his kids. Now you guys can tell me if you like that idea or not, and then they can go live in the big city rags to riches style. Like we'll follow the kids after Casey's, you know, family all grows up and everything, and the kids will try to live a rags to riches style in the big city 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 living style, which is gonna be amazing, I think. But okay. <laughs> Um, okay, so what we're gonna do, if you guys like that idea, let me know. Oh my god, look at this dynamic lighting, guys! I like the new lighting update. Okay, so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to have kids, I guess? So we're gonna try for a baby. And, after we eat our yogurt, of course. <laughs> you need to eat yogurt. Or I guess you don't. We're gonna just skip the yogurt. I guess we're skipping the yogurt, guys! Oh my god, we're skipping the yogurt! <laughs> okay, here we go. Skipping yogurt. No yogurt for us, no yogurt for Casey. Here we go. Skipping yogurt and going right to trying to have a baby. <laughs> now, I'm really excited and also kind of nervous. We do have a decent amount of money, nine grand almost in the bank. That's gonna help us, you know, upgrade this house a little bit, add some bedrooms, get an upstairs going or a basement going, and have some type of very nice family house. But uh, I am still nervous. Raising kids is hard. It's not easy. So, we're going to see. We might only have one kid. I'm not sure. I'm still on the fence with all this. It's all very new. It just feels like yesterday, Casey was kicked from his parents' house to live a life of solitude. And, you know, now he's he's so successful, all self-made on his own. And it looks like... It looks like they're done trying to make a baby. Well, uh, let's see what happened. Let's go test the pee. <laughs> Take a pregnancy test. Come on, baby. You're pregnant, Candy. Be pregnant. Now Casey's there too. He's gonna watch for some reason. Very weird. Very weird. There you go. She's eating for two. So she's expecting kids. Okay, and she has to work in an hour. Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, so let's have her change her outfit. Change outfits. Let's get her in her like every day, just so she doesn't feel like kind of a slug. And then let's uh do the same for Casey. Change his every day. Then I want them to go in the backyard. Uh, go here. And then let's have her go here, too. Come on, Candy. It's like she got pregnant, and she got pregnant real fast. Like, do you see this? Usually when they get pregnant, they don't get a belly like that right away. That's kind of that's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, so let's give her a kiss uh, right where we got married to kind of celebrate, you know, having kids and, <laughs> and moving on in life and just another chapter opening up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's try to get a picture of this. We gotta, we gotta commemorate this with a, with a picture and maybe a collectible coin. Imagine <laughs> collectible coins. Okay, there we go. So there, they're kissing. She's gonna have to be going to work soon. And when she goes to work today, I think since he's feeling extremely flirty, we're gonna have him make a flirty painting. And since she has to go to work, let's make sure she's got everything ready. She's got her practice in. She should get promoted today. She should. She'll become a level three entertainer. Now, will she have to give up her entertaining career when we have kids? I don't think so because Casey's always home. He could, you know, help her around the house and help with the kids and all that. Okay, eight minutes. Now she's got to go to work. Okay, and she's off. Now, I want her to work really hard today. 
But I don't want her to be too stressed because she's about to have a baby. Okay, so let's go over here. What's Casey doing? He's painting a very flirty painting right now because he's feeling extremely flirty. Now, you guys gave me a lot of good suggestions, too, for upgrades on the house, and I'm going to go over those in a second after we paint this painting. It's not a masterpiece, but we are going to sell it. Let's sell it. Sell to collector. 700 bucks. Not bad. Now, you guys gave me suggestions. You said in build mode, maybe put some windows in the bedroom, which, you know, I like that suggestion. I'll get rid of the movie posters. And I'll go with some windows to make natural light and just make the the house nice and bright and beautiful. So I, I like that suggestion. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to do like these mid-level windows or these tall ones because it's going to really brighten up everything. There we go. The, the bedroom's a lot brighter now, a lot happier. Um, and then I you also like gave me suggestions for like a kitchen table or something here. I definitely don't think that is something I want because I'd have to get rid of this to have a dining area and a lot of you guys said make the bathroom smaller which we could definitely do that I just I just I, I'm just so picky guys like I could make it like this I can make it a lot smaller I could stretch this art facility up a little bit and then there you go you got a you got a better a better bigger room I guess it, it I guess it I guess it's okay what is that why does that look like that oh there's a door there Okay, well, I screwed up that. Uh, let's grab this and paint that. And then let's grab this and paint that. So I made the bathroom smaller. A lot of you guys definitely wanted the bathroom smaller. So now that the bathroom's more, I guess, of a manageable size, um, hopefully you guys will be happy about that. Where's the door? Did they get rid of the door? Did the door go away? Oh, I must have moved the door. Oh, this was the door. Okay, so we're going to grab this. Oh, do we not have an area for a door? Uh-oh. Uh oh, okay, so what we have to do is get rid of this towel. We have to grab this bad boy and boom. Okay, so now we have a door. We have robes and everything. We're just trying to make this look nice again. I don't want it to look awkward now, so we'll kind of center this a little bit. There we go. So smaller bathroom. That was one change you guys wanted. Uh, this room's now bigger. We could probably put a desk here with a computer or something like that. We have the money, so we could definitely do that. Um, cause this is kind of our creative workspace. This room needs a lot of work. Like it needs art on the walls. It, you know, but since we have kids coming and everything, I really don't want to be messing with that just yet. Um, but right here, I definitely don't know what I want to put here. Uh, now it is a bigger space to fill, which, um, you know, I don't mind bigger spaces to fill, but I don't know what I want to put here. And that's the tough part. That's the very tough part. Like I could, I could move this like over here now. And I could just like grab this and go like this just lower this a little bit I like it kind of closer to the table So I could do that with that area over here and then like I don't know figure out something else for this area I just this could this could fit a table, but I just don't know why I would put a table here I think it may be um, I don't know. It's tough. It's really tough I could get rid of this put a fireplace here a lot of you guys wanted a fireplace and then I could put like some chairs and stuff around the fireplace. It's just it's a tough call. Like, let me see fireplaces really quick. Fireplaces, I think those are in the study, right? Or are they in the living room? They're in the living room. Okay, so let's just see, like, say we wanted a modern fireplace uh, with some grays and some beiges. Well, this is all a very tan room, so let's try this one. Okay, so say I wanted to place this here. Can I put this against? Let me delete this. I got to get rid of this, I think. Can I place this here? No, it's too, it's too big. So I could... <sighs> You can't just place in the middle of anything either. This wall might be big enough for it. So, let me see. Let's move all this. Okay, I'm deleting that picture. Let's try to pop that right there. Okay, so there we go. We're going to put a fireplace here, guys. And then maybe we'll put some nice picture over top of that. Now I can take this. I can put this back to where it was. I can get that little light up tree again. Put that there. And then this area can get rid of the shoe rack. And I can put some chairs and stuff kind of in a rug and maybe a little table. I don't know. Just something to make this kind of like a cozy environment. Let's see what kind of little statues we can put on top of the fireplace. I don't know if they're much of a statue family, but uh, we'll, we'll see if we can find anything that would suit them and make them uh, make them happy. Like, look at this. This might be kind of cool. Let's see if we can get it like a... Uh, oh, this is huge. Can we make this smaller? I'm trying. No, you can't make it smaller. Dang it. Because that would have been really nice. Okay, so let's see. What else could we put? The, all these are too big. I don't know why they put these over the fireplace. Like, oh, yeah, just, just just set this on top of your fireplace when they're massive. 
massive thing. We can put little cars on our place. I don't think that's something we want. Let's go to decoration. Okay, we're going to find something we can put on this fireplace. Like, I do like these rocks. I wish they came in more of a beige color. But they do come in, like, a grayish color. So we can set those there. And then we can even, you know, get, um, like, a, a vase or a vase of flowers. Set that right there. And then, um, something tall. Like, you need something tall in this area. That's too tall. Uh, what about this? Okay, so that's not quite what I'm looking for. It's all flowers, too, which... Uh, I don't know. Let's try that there. And then delete this. And then I want another one of these, maybe? And then just something grand in the center? Or, like, a nice painting or something? So maybe we get, like, this. And then a nice painting right here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I like that. Okay, so, what kind of painting would fit then? That's too small. Ugh. That's too small. Um, hmm. Let's try... Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so there we go. A nice painting over the fireplace. And now we can, uh, let's minimize all this a little bit. Okay, so now we can put some type of chairs here. Just have a nice sitting area. Nothing too crazy. Uh, wait, where did that little, like, tree thing go? That light up tree. I want that light up tree back. I don't know where I found that. Oh, did I find that in this? I think I found that over here. Okay, so I want that light up tree. Ooh, what's this? What is this? Oh, this is tiny. I was gonna say, this is cool. Okay, so where's that tree? Where are you at, tree? Don't you hide from me right now. Oh, there you are. Okay, so let's go over here. I'm gonna plop this bad boy down right over here. And this house is really becoming something, guys. This house is becoming something I love. Okay, so there we go. Loving that. Loving all this area. Now let's get some chairs. And we should be good to go. This is going to be just a nice little sitting area. Uh, I think I'm going to get like chairs like this if I can get them to be brownish. Oh, wait, no. This is the exact chair I have. I think we have it in like this color. No, this color. No, this color right here. Okay, so we could just do something like this. Okay, like boom, like that. Just something kind of chilling over here and then put like a small circular table right like am, am i doing things right am i a designer guys am i doing a good job is there any circular ones oh boy is there no circles there should definitely be circle tables like i swear everyone was raving about circle tables not too long ago well this one's close to being a like different shape than a square at least okay because like i can go like that with that and and just add something to this area, and then we can get some small decor to put on there. I'm trying, guys. I really am. I'm, I'm trying to make this, like, a very homey vibe. Just something that people can sit down and just relax and enjoy. So let's get these candles over here. Okay, and then I'm going to go like this. Boom. Beautiful. Gotta love it. Okay, and then we're going to get a rug, too. Because then uh, the rug's going to add, like, a pop of color or something. Uh, let's try, like, um... Uh, bluish? Like that? <clears throat> something like that? <clears throat> does that add something? Does that make this... Does that make this room really nice? Maybe a redder color? Now red's too red. Beige is too beige. Gray is gray. I think this blue color does fit it. Uh, the light blue is probably better, though. So, there we go. I like it. Uh, I'm going to keep it for now. I, you guys can let me know, obviously, how you feel about it in the comments. Because... I really do rely on your guys' opinion for this kind of stuff. Uh, I know we're going to definitely do an episode in the near future doing a huge revamp on the uh, trying to get an upstairs going. But I think this kind of, if you look at the space, I think this really filled the space well. Uh, there's a whole other sitting area. Um, you know, we can maybe get a wall bookshelf or something. Or, I don't know, I just think it really filled the space. And it feels warm and inviting. Like, if you look at the whole space here now, it's it's just really nice. It's a nice little space, so... I'm happy. There's definitely got to be something that goes over this, though. Ooh, this this would be cool if it was on the wall. <laughs> okay, let's try to find a picture. Just one more picture, and then I'm going to be happy. And I'm going to call it quits with these rooms. Um, This one is what we got over there. So we could do something like... Something like this with a, a beige frame and... And then you go like that, and then I'm going to alt this down a little bit. Okay, and then we can even get this one. Because Candy's a musical entertainer, so this kind of makes sense. Boom. Because then it's it's music, it's celebrating what she loves. So there we go, it filled the area pretty nice. I'm, I'm happy with all the, the area fillings. 
I think it looks cool. Looks dope. <laughs> okay, so let's go back into play mode. There we go. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Can we like this? Or does this is this that just that's purely decoration? I can't like this one either. Dang it, I wanna like candles, guys! I really wanna be able to like candles. Okay, so <laughs> now that we have a baby on the way, guys, and we just spent about four thousand dollars revamping our living room and our our living space, and we do I do want a desk with like a computer here, and I think I'm gonna do that right now since we're in the mood of revamping stuff. Now, yeah, we're gonna spend a lot of money, but I can literally have you know Casey paint a few paintings, and uh, we'll be good again. So let's see. I want to get something that's lighter colored because this room's a very light room and it's fun so let's get that then let's get a nice chair what kind of chairs can we get do we have any night Ooh, how do you get this one business career oh, okay uh, well let's go with this and just get like a white chair something that's gonna pop out a little bit and then I want a decent computer we'll get the we'll get the fourteen hundred dollar one because I don't feel like spending all of our money on a computer boom okay so there we go, nice computer, a nice guitar area, painting area. Obviously this room isn't exactly what I want yet. I, I definitely think, you know, there's definitely a lot of work to be done here. But it's it's coming together, slowly. Slowly yet surely. Like, from living on the streets to having a, a decent house that is starting to fill up and feel like a home. I'm happy with myself, guys. But now that a baby's in the oven and it's going to be on the way, life for Casey's about to get insane. But I think today I'm going to end this episode here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And let me know in the comments what you think of the house. Should I have a, a building upstairs or should we build a basement? Where are we going to keep the kids upstairs or in a basement? You guys can decide that in the comments down below. And don't forget to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed this video. If we get a thousand, like I said, I'll have another Sims video for you guys tomorrow. But until next time, guys, remember to take it easy. Live and squeezy.